Hi, now we are going to implement the raycast from a specific point in the space toward to a specific direction. In the previous lesson, we implement the raycasting but using the mouse raycasting system, which means uh, launching the ray from the camera or from the screen and in the mouse direction in order to touch something in the world in the 3d world with the mouse but now we are going to we are going to launch we are going to throw out the ray cast the ray from a specific point and in a specific direction so at the moment we have this uh, green box in the screen on the scene and now we are going to check the official documentation uh, the, where we can looking for recast recast and here you will see the example that we were working in the previous lesson but if you scroll down you will see uh, you can pass some parameters in the recaster constructor method methods method yeah so those uh, parameters you can set it up after the instantiation for example far near here those parameters are the same have the same functionality in the ca perspective camera setup when you can check uh, how far or uh, how close have to be the object in order to be captured by the camera here you can set how far and how near have to stay the object in order to be intersected by the raycast so the region is the specific point in the space where the raycast start and the direction is the orientation of the uh, raycasting so now we are going to copy just the first line we are going to continue with the other view and we are going to paste it here the first uh, parameter is going to be a, a vector 3 so we have to write the position let me see let me show you this is the center of the world space uh, but we are going to go up 10 meters so this is the origin of the ray cast so there is a ray cast that is going to pointing down uh, we, you don't know it's pointing down we are going to point it now, down right now so we copy this line and we put minus one so now uh, the direction is down this vector should be normalized as you will see in the official documentation let me show you uh, direction if we're looking for about information about this second parameter the direction vector that gives direction or orientation to the ray should be normalized so if we place here minus 100 maybe works maybe not i don't think so but should be normalized show be normalized instead is yeah uh, no if you want to normalize a, a vector you need to learn how to it's just uh, let me show you something if you have a, a bar back which is a vector 3 and then the vector 3 you want to normalize it you just call normalize in this way and it is going to decrease or increase in order to be normalized so but that is topic of other lessons so at the moment you have to know this second uh, parameter is a vector 3 normalized which indicate the orientation of the ray so the following parameters you know very well is this the nearest point where you can 
intersect something and the second is the far farthest uh, point where you can uh, intersect something so after that you have just uh, the ray cast pointing down and as you can imagine let me show you this is the box we have the box in the coordinate coordinate zero 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 so the ray cast is going to pass through this object so but you will see something okay we are going to change the color as we you as we do in the previous lesson so i am going to copy this line so you remember this is the example we are copying these lines we are going to paste it here in order to change the color of the intersected object So hopefully now we will see the object intersected in yellow in red color. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. But it's not working. Um, maybe because we are missing. Maybe I will show you why. Because we are missing the three library that is why so now to 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 hopefully we will see the red yeah the red uh, cube because it's intersected by the ray casting so now let me show you information about uh, the intersect uh, intersections variable the variable intersection so we will see two intersection um, as you can see the objects are the same because they have the same ID but you have to know the mesh is built up with uh, faces and that faces are built up with triangles and the triangles are be built with vertices so if you have three vertices you can build a triangle so the face we are uh, intersecting on this cube on this cube is uh, the face number four which is built with the vertices eight nine ten and nine so and here this is the one intersection but the second one is intersecting in the phase number 5 with the vertices 10, 11, and 9. So the, the ray cast is just in the middle and is touching both uh, triangles. That's why we have two intersections. So in order to avoid this, we have many, many, many ways <laughs> to resolve that. One of them is just moving the ray cast a little, little, little bit to the left or to the right, and then you will find that only one intersection. In this case, the phase number five, if we move in the opposite direction, just changing the sign of that, now you'll see the phase we intersect is number four. But the okay, could be a way, but other way to avoid this uh, situation is just um, you know the the resolution the the returning of this object is an array so you can just check the first one because always you most of the time you will try to find just the first intersection with the ray so you just uh, call the first one and then you just do whatever you want to do uh, with directly but you have to make some validation so in this way you get straight the first element of the array so there is no array so just you get the first one but if there is no intersection you will get an error so you have to ask uh, yeah 
if intersection intersects length is higher than zero then you can do what you want to do but using only the first one so in this way you get the almost the same let me check this up check 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 yeah i don't remember why we have two yeah we are showing two but we are working only with one yeah uh, yeah so in this way we avoid to make something twice because could be the same object that we that is intersected at, at the beginning so that's all by now so hopefully you enjoyed and learned something and see you in the next lesson bye stay tuned